For as long as I can remember, my dad and I have built, upgraded, and repaired computers. And recently there's been one that we've built a few different versions of that's just been a little bit more interesting to me than some of the others that we've done. This is what we like to call Old Rusty. Old Rusty is a test bench system made out of any component that we can put in. The only reason why it's called Old Rusty in the first place is the same old SSD with our copy of Windows on it registered to the name Old Rusty. And we use this to test components that we can't put in either of our machines. We have AMD systems at the moment, Rusty is an Intel system. But it's kind of evolved beyond that a little bit. A little while back, a friend of mine needed a new computer. So we um, looked into it, and because of the um, semiconductor shortage, it meant that we couldn't get him completely new components. So we used some of the components in Rusty and put it together with a mixture of the new components we could get and um, gave him that system. And we've kind of done that with a few people at this point, taking some components that we already had and some new components and putting them together, which has kind of become the idea of old Rusty. This is the current Rusty. It is a system that was originally based around a Pentium G3240, low-grade processor from 2014, but we've gathered more parts and upgraded it into a better rig. At the moment, Rusty has an Intel Core i5-4460, 8GB of DDR3 memory running at 1600MHz, and an old Asus, never get this right, H81ME processor? Not processor, motherboard. That's what that is. Um, which is just a basic Intel-based motherboard that is used in some pre-builds. Now, this PC could just scrape by and run some games, but it kind of struggled with a lot of them because we were running it off of onboard graphics, but it really didn't take much to turn it into a much better PC. We just put it into a case and got a graphics card for it. Now the case was pretty easy. There are a lot of cases and fans that you can get. We didn't even have to get the fans because we have just a box of them sitting in a corner from the amount of PCs we've built. There's a lot of fans in this thing. Um, but putting a GPU in Rusty was a little bit more difficult. Because of the prime mention semiconductor shortage, um, graphics cards have been really difficult to get your hands on. And um, at first I thought that that would be because of the fact that factories wouldn't be able to have quite as many workers in because of workplace restrictions, and that would limit the amount that they could make. But actually they've been producing pretty much more graphics cards than ever. It's just a simple fact that everyone keeps having to buy them all because of the high demand for home workstations, gaming rigs for people, gaming was already on the rise on PC before COVID even kicked in, so people were buying stuff up then. There just hasn't been enough to fill the markets, and the most common place you can find graphics cards was actually in pre-builds. It's been very difficult to get your hands on some of the components that you need. Fortunately, we have managed to get our hands on a GTX 1650 Ti, I think it's a Ti, and uh, that goes on Rusty and works absolutely fine. Pretty much no fault in it now, just if we were to sell it, we would probably end up switching out the motherboard and process for something a little bit more up to date. Probably um, i5-9400, probably a K. That thing's a good processor. Um, but there's really not much we need to do to this Rusty. Now Rusty isn't the first time we've done this type of thing. This was not my first PC. Nowhere near. My PC started out as a old thing from well, donkeys years ago. About ten years ago my dad and I built my first PC. This was what was left from my dad's old upgrade and a graphics card from a friend that had already been a hang-me-down. Twice. Um, 
but we put that together and it just about ran. Um, all I really needed it for was YouTube and Lego games, which it could just about run. Barely, but still ran. But um, gradually, over a lot of years, I got new components, hang-me-downs from my dad, new drives, things like that, and um, gradually built it up into something a little bit better. And eventually, when some of my friends started playing on PC and getting games like CSGO, I decided that it was probably time for a more significant upgrade. So I ended up selling that PC to a friend of mine who now uses it and has quite a lot of fun with it. And um, then I got my hands on some brand new components fresh off the production line pretty much and built up a PC consisting of a GTX 1660 Super and a uh, 2600X. And that evolved into this. At the moment I'm running quite a few better parts because just because you've gotten it up to a point where you're happy with it doesn't mean you don't have to stop pushing forward. And now it can run just about everything I throw at it. Which I'm very happy with it, but like I say, still not done. And that's pretty much the same thing with Rusty. Just because you put together something that you're happy with and that can run certain things doesn't mean you won't be happy with it forever. Does that make sense? Alright, let me rephrase. With something like Rusty, it can work well for what you need it to, but there will always be room for improvement. Something like Rusty was very good for starting someone out without having to have too much knowledge, but then it's still not got a lot of the um, kind of shortcomings that an actual pre-build would have, where you wouldn't have so much access to switching out components. Because a lot of pre-built based motherboards have different power connectors, so you can't switch out the power supply quite as easily. Which means you have to buy another pre-built instead of just upgrading what you've already got. Some pre-builds aren't quite like this. Quite a lot of the stuff that you can get off websites like CCL, that's absolutely fine, but something that's actually built to be upgradable is just quite a bit easier to work with. So, that's all there is really to say. Now, I think I'm in need of a new processor. 